Hello guys, some people need a study buddy or a work buddy as they work. At this moment, I'm going to be working on a Laravel project that I need to finalize and I'm going to work with you, I'll be a work buddy. And I'm going to follow the Pomodoro technique, which I always do. Pomodoro technique is 25 minutes of deep focus work and then five minute break, 25 minutes of deep focus work five minute break you do that for four sessions which amounts to two hours but in this session we're going to do a half pomodoro which i don't even know if it exists but we're going to do 25 minute deep work five minute break and another 25 minute deep work five minute break which amounts to one hour i'll be playing some nice background music so that we follow along let's go now don't forget your set to set your timer so i'll be setting my timer to 25 minutes let's go
okay my time tells me that it's 25 minutes so now we're going to stop and then we're going to break for five minutes so let's set our timers to five minutes i hope yeah the five minute break starts now i hope it was productive on your end and yep let's get ready let's get ready for another session in the meantime i'm going to be preparing to pack my bag because after this session i'll go straight for breakfast and then i'll go straight to the office the office is just right across the road so it's not going to take me long so let me use these five minutes to pack up finalize dressing and you can use it for anything maybe grab a quick snack or even stretch mm -hmm. let's go with the music now Alright guys, let me get ready. Keep dancing along to the music, okay? Move it. 
hope you're ready. Yes, and the timer goes off now. I hope you had a very productive break. We're going to jump into the last session of our deep focus work, and that's going to be another 25 minutes, which starts now.
guys it's been over the five minute break it's been over the five minute break and since this was a half pomodoro that should be at least one hour i'm going to head off now for my breakfast and then i proceed to the office i hope you're going to join me again at another stage when i'm working so that we can be working buddies but if you're continuing with the other half of pomodoro you can just loop this video so right now start with the break which is going to take five minutes i'm just going to already start the timer for that one so let's do the five minute break i'll be i'll be dropping off as soon as the five minute break finishes but if you are still working or studying put it on loop continue with this five minute break and then another dip session of 25 minutes five minute another dip session of 25 minutes and you still have the background music playing the lo-fi music also and don't forget to like this video share it around and subscribe to the channel i keep on making these videos and i hope we're going to be work buddies or study buddies for a long time I'm wishing you all the best and let's break
Yeah, coming. All right. That's a colleague calling me to break. So. This is me parking. I always travel with an with a power extension, my laptop charger, uh, my iPhone charger, my external mouse. Mouse pads, an external hard drive I've already put inside, my wallet, and if you heard me yelling out, uh, that was my colleague telling us to go for breakfast before we proceed to the office. We have two and a half minutes for this break. Let's keep on breaking, and I hope maybe you're stretching or dancing or whatever you're doing. guys let's just let's just finish the last half it's no one and a half minutes of the break uh, if you saw me that at some point I wasn't typing anything on the laptop it was mostly because I was trying to understand the code because I'm maintaining a project that other other teams wrote so there's this issue where I'm trying to you save what we call an identification for the water source for a certain household in a database so i'm able to find the code the controller is calling a model and it's pulling a water source id but when you look at the database the data structure the data source for the data itself there is no water source id it's just getting an other component which you need to specify if you don't have any water source so that was what i was looking through I managed to get as far as finding it in a service so in another working session I hope I'm just going to plug that to the model and you should be able to pull from the database until then guys always subscribe and thank you very much for working with me I'm wishing you the best and have a lovely one <laughs>